A Target 11 investigation as a local woman takes a cemetery to court. She says she purchased a handful of burial plots for her entire family a decade ago when her husband died. But she says the new owners won't honor her agreement. And that's when Target 11 investigator Rick Earl started asking questions. My husband's buried here. I'll be buried here. That's our bench. Mm -hmm. That's our tree right. that the grandchildren planted. Patsy Shaw purchased these burial plots at the Mount Lebanon Cemetery shortly after her husband died in 2013. I raised my family in Mount Lebanon, okay. so um, that's where we wanted to purchase our burial sites. Mm -hmm. And um, I went to Mount Lebanon Cemetery, met some very nice people. Found a great plot? I I did. It, it's beautiful. She purchased six plots and a cremation area, enough for her entire family. Shaw and her attorney showed us a copy of that agreement. So you can actually see here where it was actually signed uh, by um, the, the sales agent of the cemetery, and it was also signed by the groundskeeper for the cemetery. Um, you, you can see where it actually has the dimensions of the various plots. <laughs> But during a visit last year, Shaw discovered that a headstone had been placed on her plot. I was surprised. I was surprised. Uh, and I was concerned because the stone was over on, onto the area that I considered mine and that fit the measurements that I had been given. So um, that's what really started the problem. Shaw reached out to the new owners. She says they told her she didn't own the land that she purchased a decade ago. Those aren't the dimensions. There was mistakes made. That's not accurate. What was your reaction? I was like stunned. Patsy Shaw says the burial plots run all the way to this line where I'm standing right now. But now she says the cemetery wants to shorten it by 12 feet. Shaw attempted to work out an agreement but claims the cemetery wouldn't budge. It's frustrating. It, it is anger producing. It's frustrating. It makes you sad. So Shaw has now filed a civil lawsuit against Stonemore, the owner of the cemetery. They're trying to say that there are no sizes. They're trying to say that there are no boundary lines, that, that there is no actual plot sizes here, that you only have the right to be interred um, somewhere on the cemetery property. The rules changed somewhere along the line, but they changed after I had my agreement. So I don't know how to explain their behavior. We went to the cemetery office and the manager said he couldn't comment. We also reached out to Stonemore and they told us the situation is being handled in the court system. And according to court documents obtained by Target 11, Stonemore contends Shaw does not own any legal right to the property in the cemetery and that lots do not contain any contractually guaranteed dimensions. To you, it's black and white. To me, it's black and white, and I've got the papers to establish that with signatures on them. So I'm not sure how they dispute that or argue that point. But Shaw says she isn't backing down. You know what? When you get to a certain age, you realize your own mortality. And I need this settled. I thought it was settled 10 years ago. So I want this to be settled. I want these areas marked properly. As the legal wrangling continues with no apparent resolution in sight, it will likely be up to a jury to decide if there are defined perimeters for the burial plots in question or not. Rick Earl, Channel 11 News.